Hi Duck! Today we're getting crafty. I'm telling you, the last two videos I've done have been crafty and we're doing crafty again. Um, and I don't mean in a bad way, like we're crafty buggers we are. Um, now, we're going to make an Acra Gel ring and a matching nail. That's what I mean. I want to show you how to do it on a nail as well. Oh, just because this is a nail channel, Duck. So yeah, let's get cracking. There are a few different ways you can do this. And Adam asked a really good question. He said, how do you size up your ring? Do you need like one of those ring size of things? Take a, take a okay. spear tip under, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, like a cone. Yeah, like a very thin, long cone metal thing. Yeah. Good for itty big, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was like, right, okay, so this is, this. Is, I'll show you how you can do it. This is how the nail that. tech does it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uses everything at her nail tech desk. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to get a sculpting form and you're going to cut about a two centimetre strip. I mean, that is by eye. That's like two centimetres, I think. Width, not length, darling. And we're going to take this and this is going to be your little like measuring device and you're going to put it on the ring the finger that you want to measure you're going to say your ring finger there weren't you oh, yeah. you marry yourself yeah <laughs> <laughs> so actually let me just fold let me just cut this bit straight so we want one end straight at least Boop. and then wrap it round to size your finger oh actually you know pandora they've got like a little silicon measuring device that's similar to this obviously this is far cheaper and then i'm going to take the design needle end of my pammy picker upper and i'm gonna make a little mark you could do a pencil if you wanted to but if you were going to use a pencil you would have to do it on the paper side not the wax side so that's how big my finger is so then you would wrap this around something so what i did was i was like right let's wrap it around the bottle is the bottle too small yes it is and then i got a another bottle from angelica and i wrapped it around that and lo and behold or a Jellica bottle. I'm a Jellica bottle size. <laughs> so it's about finding something that is round and you can wrap it round. But then I put my gloves on <laughs> and I went, well, I can just do it on top of the glove. So yeah, you could do it on the glove, but we're going to do it on the bottle. <laughs> so you'll need clean up solution because we're going to do aqua gel. I'm going to need Mr. Buttons and a Brendic brush. So I've got those there. And then, and then, we're gonna take a spatula. So we've got our spatula, and then we're gonna use the clear aqua gel. So we're gonna use the sculpting form so it doesn't um, stick onto the bottle, obviously. We don't want it to be on the bottle forever because this bottle isn't shiny. It will stick and it will never come off. I'm going to take a tab, a little sticky nail tab so I can get in them. I'm going to use that. Isn't art and craft so fun? It's so fun. <laughs> Welcome to the stressful channel. <laughs> But you can see Kirsty pull her own hair out. <laughs> yeah, I need to put it on the bottom. Oh, for God's sakes! Right, come on. There, thank you! Jesus! In today's episode, oh. Kirsty will have an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, let me roll that round and then that can stick on there. Look at that, lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. Just want to stick this bit down. That's my issue. And self tape. Self tape. <laughs> self tape. So, clear aqua gel. Yeah. 
And we're going to guide that around the bottom with your spatula. <laughs> it's like this, I feel like it's, you know, when you do plastering, not that I've ever really done plastering. <laughs> We're just like getting that, the base of it. Let me clean off my spatula using the clean up solution. Then I'm going to use the Mr. Buttons brush to smooth and shape. Just going to smooth it first of all. Then I can use the edge of that just to get a nice edge. You could even cut a finger of a glove off and put it over the bottle. You could have done that, yeah. Mm, that would be a good idea. Had you practiced this beforehand, you might have done that on camera. But it's also people learn from mistakes. Yeah, and you can learn from my mistakes. But you find that people don't tend to learn from other people's mistakes. They've got to make them themselves. themselves. I'm that kind of person. Yeah. Because I'm like, no, that won't happen to me. Oh, damn, that happened to me. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll just get this as neat as we can for now. Quite a chunky ring. Yeah, I want a chunky ring so I can put loads of stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna flash cure that bit there. So I don't want it to pop up. Then I'm gonna go in the lamp. And what we're gonna use inside is some shell. Now I love this shell. I love the pink shell and I don't like the blue as well. But, uh, you can't be greedy, Kirsty. Can't be greedy. I'm going to use them too. And then we're going to do the same on the nail because we're going to do the nail at the same time because that will be far easier. Turn the key to my easy squeezy. Scrape off. Got it on. I mean, this is multitasking. You're making a nail and a ring at the same time. I know. Okay, so I'm just going to guide that into place with my Brenda brush. You can do the whole lot with your Brenda brush, but I do like to then go to my Mr. Buttons brush because it's a little bit softer and it gets a smoother application but with the nail I'm not going to put the nail into the lamp which is easier because it's flat and it's on a finger and the nail can be chunkier sorry the ring can be chunkier than the nail you don't want the nail to be like overly thick but when it comes to a ring it doesn't really matter if the ring's a little bit a little bit chunky There we are. I want it really thin in this section, so I'm using the Brendette brush because it's firmer and I can drag product up here. And then we can smooth with the Mr. Buttons brush. And the brush is dampened with Clean Up Solution. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside for a second. Um, I'm going to open these. I like to pour some in the lids so I can see all the shapes and sizes of the shell. Okay. So with this now, 
we want a thin layer of aqua gel. So thinner than we did before. So not as much. So a little pea size, not a big pea, a little pea. And we're going to scrape that over, which will distribute it over the top. So using like a 45 degree angle with the spatula. And again, we're going to smooth. Now we needed that base at first because that's going to be like your bottom layer of encapsulation. We're going to sandwich the product between the layers. Keep your edges fairly neat, but don't worry if they do go a little bit iggledy piggledy because we can file those. Then we're going to get Pammy Picker Upper and we're going to choose which pieces of the shell that we want to pop inside. So you're going to press them into the aqua gel. Now if your shell is too big, just literally press it, crack it enough. give it a crack. Put that in the lamp. So with the finger, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the shell, but I'm going to press it into this layer that we haven't cured. I'm very fussy about my pieces.
I can put that in the lamp. Now with the ring, we're going to go with another thin layer. So that same kind of pea size. And we want to guide that over the top. Tiny bit more. Smooth lips. And the lamp. Same with this one, but we're going to encapsulate, but we're also going to add a little bit of um, pink marshmallow to the top section of this nail. So this is pink marshmallow, using the Brenda brush to add pressure, angling the brush towards the cuticle. So you're going to come up when you do the cuticle area. Don't sort of force it into the cuticle. You want to get sort of behind it to tap, tap, tap it to make it nice and thin. Then we're going to come down and blend that down. Then we're going to smooth with the Brenda. And that'll really blend it down. Which will build your apex as well. So let's cure that. And then with this, now we're going to use some Babacas gel polish. We want Spot to me. add, we want to add sparkle. So go all the way around. I'm going to take off the excess from the brush from the bottle and just make sure I haven't got too much of the glitter on top of the shards of shab just so they're still really visible we don't mind a little bit on there but i don't want it to, to like take away from the shell uh, i can go in the lamp i'm going to do the same with this before i encapsulate with clear just going to add that little bit of baba cas on there In the lamp. Then we're going to go over with the clear aqua gel. Mm. But encapsulating that as well. Encapsulating. Fully, fully, fully encapsulating. So clear again. I can actually put away my shell because if you've watched this channel for quite a while, you know, if you watch our videos, I'm very good at knocking things over, especially when they're oh. in a loose little pot like this. Now, clear. And obviously you could use whatever colours you want. Yeah, you can do anything, can't you? Do anything. We're going to guide this over with less pressure. Less pressure will leave more of the aqua gel behind. Maybe you look, look down... You look at the overhead, you can see how thick it is or how thin it is. I'm going to come right around the edges with the Brenda brush. And I'm turning the bottle as I go. And the same 
here. And we're going to start to smooth. But I'm coming from the outer edge now. So any product that we've just pushed up will be in the middle. Now let's do the same on this side. So we're kind of blending that into the middle of the ring. And then we can smooth the middle. How do you make sure that it's not sort of like lower on one side and then sort of higher on the other side? So, you know, like, so it goes straight all the way around. Do you mean like so it's thicker on one side than the other? No, not so much. So, like, you know, like, sort of like it, it as it goes round, it doesn't sort of like bend off a little bit. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean, these bits? Uh, yeah. How do you how how do you sort of make sure that they? Well, we'll file that into place. Ah, right. Okay. That's why you can you can do it a little like, bit. Imagine if you put it on the desk, and then one side yes. of it was higher than the other. Do you know what I mean? I get what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. mine would be skewed if that's what I'm trying to say, and I think a lot of other people's would be skewed. Well, a file is flat, isn't it? Yes. So that's going to help. Okay. So we're going to encapsulate this with clear. Uh, clear aqua gel. Let's blend it back. Take off a little bit of excess. And let's pop that in the lamp. Now I'm going to wipe over the ring. Can't blue that's coming off the actual bottle, that is. <laughs> And then let's take it off. And it's rock solid. Is it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to file and perfect it now. So place it onto your file. Because the file is flat. You'll be able to start to get it flat. What you ideally want is one end to be slightly thinner that's going to sit here. Oh. So it's more comfortable. Okay. So you can bend your finger. So you're going to angle. I should be not know that. We don't need to spin that ring. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can keep it the full what's it if you want, but to make it com more comfortable. It is better to have it a bit thinner.
and then I'm going to file over the top. And I'm going from side to side so we get a slight domed effect. Does that make sense? So it's a bit thinner on the edge, but you get more domed in the middle. Kind of like a nail. It's got an apex running through the centre of it. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Find it a bit easier doing it like this. Then I can come through the middle. Change to a 240 grip because I don't want to take off too much. Now, as I'm turning it, what I'm looking for is that slight dome running all the way through. And if any bits are a bit high, like that bit there is a bit too high, we can soften that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to keep going round and making sure it's as even as I can get it. I'm a master jeweler now. Uh. An acrylic smith. An acrylic smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, it's got nothing on me. Uh, I was just all the dust my gold in your face. Oh. <laughs> I just want to go over this join here. Can you see us join where the paper met? Yeah, so I'm just gonna use oh just go throw it on the bro. I want to go with the electric file. I'm gonna just waz that bit. So I'll use the pink Swarovski bit on this because it's quite soft. I'm not gonna take away too much. I'm just gonna smooth that. Can you see that all that? We're going to buff it so you've got no sharp edges
Can you that mother of pearl kind of shawl that's in there? Mm. It reminds me. Dress. Yeah, it reminds me of um, whenever I think of mother of pearl, it takes me back to going to Land's End. And I remember being in a jeweller's and it was like got jewellery in there and it was all shell related jewellery, you know, being by the sea and all. Yeah. And there was watches with Mother of Pearl in, there was necklaces with Mother of Pearl, rings with Mother of Pearl. And I remember it so distinctively and I don't know why, I think it was just because I was so fascinated by the colours of the Mother of Pearl. I just remember it so clearly. So I've always been a bit of a fan of Mother of Pearl and I didn't know it was called Mother of Pearl until I was in that shop. Ooh, what did um, you think it was I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was and then my mum had told me what it was called. Ooh. And I just remember it so well. And I was only really young. I was really young. Oh, that must have been a long time ago. And I can remember that. And for a woman on the menopause, that is a lot to remember. It's a long way back, that is. You even want to go inside. Look at this inside. We'll just give that a bit of a buffage because we're going to top coat inside as well. Just so there's no sharp bits. You don't wear a ring with sharp bits, do you? It's me up. Right, we're going to finish this now. Let's uh, wipe over with clean up solution. Take off the sticky layer. And then, as if by magic, ta da! It's filed! <laughs> ah, ah. I know! It just looks like your fingers. It's amazing. We're going to wipe over with clean up solution. Make sure they're nice and clean. And then you've done this to your finger, but is how Aliana's finger the, the, the model? <gasps> Some massive hands. No, my foot, mine's definitely bigger, but that'll still be fine for a photo. Will that yours happen? is bigger? No, my, this is bigger than mine. This hand. Oh, it's bigger than yours, yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean, Ali has got a massive finger. She's got a big finger. She's got a definitely big finger. Right, so I'm going to pop this on here just to help me. So one thing you need to make sure is that your gel is fully cured and you are using a matching system to the gel or the aqua gel that you are using. So obviously if you're using the Kirsty Mickey range, you are going to use the Kirsty Mickey lamp and that will ensure everything's fully cured. Our products don't have hema in them because you don't want that sat on the skin. But under cured products sat on the skin is not good. Cured products are absolutely fine. So I'm just making sure I've covered all that inside and I'm going to pop that into the lamp. So I'm going to do underneath this nail, just like I have with the ring. And I'm going to pop that in the lamp. And then I want to use this top coat. So this is Chewy, which is a glossy top coat. Named after Adam's cat, who sadly passed away. She did. Yeah, she wasn't very well last week. And uh, she's going to catty heaven. Going to catty heaven. I'm going to put it on here to paint, just so it's got something to hold it on so this has got these black little shards in but it's also a top coat and we do lots of different effects in the top coat so they have all different kinds of wonderful glitters and mylar
Can you try and move different bits of glitter? <laughs> yeah. Trying to even it. Yeah, I was trying to make it how I want it. I'm just being extra fussy, Adam. Right, that can go in one. And then with the nail, we're going to do the same. Sure, was a little black cat as well. Mm -hmm. Like that. So I so I've dragged all the big pieces from the top and kept them towards the bottom with the design. And I can pop that into the lamp. So we've got our gorgeous ring. Must be sent it. There. Oh, it's a bit gorgeous, isn't it? It's not bad, like. It's not bad, is it, Ma? Ten thousand pounds, please. Yes, who wants to buy it from me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not selling. I'm not selling. Sorry. And then we've got the nail, the matching nail. Look at that. It's so pretty, I love it. Aliana, will you marry me? <laughs> oh no, the ring doesn't fit, so she won't marry me. You could squeeze her finger really tight, because like, she ain't got any bones in there or anything. Else. No. She doesn't answer back anyway, so we, she's so, so good, so well behaved. Unlike somebody we know. <laughs> I have to know. You are trouble. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about Faye. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about Faye. <laughs> I love it though. It's cute, that, isn't it? Yeah. But you could make that as you're doing a set for, you know. If somebody's going somewhere and they want the nails to match a ring because it's a special occasion, then make them a ring to match. That's cool. And then you can charge them extra, obviously. £10,000. Yes. And you can obviously do that as you're working as well. While the hands of the lamp you're doing. It's like doing another nail. Yeah, I suppose so. It's kind of like doing another nail. So there, there we are. Hope you've enjoyed coming along the journey of creating an Acrogel ring. Hope you like it. Give it a go. I want to see your recreations. I want to see what you do. So don't forget to tag us in your recreations. Everything I've used today will be listed below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao, look.